Welcome, my beautiful soul, into this reading. If you are here, you've come into this video, you find yourself listening to me, Deborah. It is because I have asked spiritual teams, spirit guides, to call in the right person to get this message. And yeah, you are. So you are in the right place. I'm going to let this be handed over to your spirit guides. This is a collective reading. There is no zodiac sign attached to it, although I may mention some zodiac signs in the reading. Make sure you also make, check your rising and your moon sign with regards to those zodiac signs. They can also be attached to signs of other people around you as well. So let us get started. Spirit guide, show me today. Time this reading as well. Whenever you get it, you are meant to receive it. Show me for my beautiful souls, my beautiful spiritual energies out there who have come into the reading what is it that you want to speak about to them at this moment in time? I actually forgot I'm supposed to pre-shuffle the cards, so I don't just sit and shuffle all the time, but I'm going with the flow of the energy today. So we've got grieving coming in here. What is this all about? Grieving can come up in so many different ways. You could have had a loss of somebody um, in your life, and you could literally be grieving somebody. If you have lost somebody, I'm very sorry for that loss for you. Um... We go on, we do go on, okay, we do go on, we do go on. Um, I'm very surprised actually to see this card come out here. Remember, grieving can be a loss of a person. It can also be grieving a loss of a relationship, a loss of something that you wanted to have or you had and you couldn't keep it any longer, a loss of a way of being. Um, you know, we can grieve... Um, the loss of our energy, the loss of who we used to be. Um, sometimes we don't feel the same anymore. Maybe we feel, I just don't feel like myself kind of energy. Okay, so I, I, I feel like I'm looking at that. I feel like that's what Spirit Guide is talking about. You feeling like you're not yourself and you're feeling like, where I don't feel like I'm supposed to be feeling. This is not me. Why do I feel so? Will I ever be normal again? Will I ever be myself again? There could have been something that happened here to you um, some time ago or even recently. For some of you guys, something happened a long time ago and you're wondering now, why am I feeling weird now? Why am I so off? Um, there is things that take place in our life that affect our energy in such a way that it will make us feel like we're somebody else. So this is a very interesting energy. Um, you got the strength card coming in here. The Eight of Wands coming in here and the Justice card. There's been an ending to something here. I feel like you've had to... This is a very interesting reading. This one's very interesting. I'm, I'm picking up on some sort of like feelings coming from spiritual team of what is going on here. But it's kind of like very open still. The Strength card coming through here. I feel like it's you having had... had oh... Oh, 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 I know what's wrong with you. You're okay. Don't worry. Okay. So first of all, I feel like you've been strong for a very long time. I feel like with the strength card, we do have Leo in your reading. I feel like you've been a strong person. You've been dealing with a lot. You've been facing a lot of problems. You've been carrying everything and everyone. Okay. To, with regards to everything that's always coming towards you. With regards to life coming towards you, everything that you have to deal with all the time, things happening so unexpectedly around you, and you've always been the strong one. You don't feel like that anymore. You feel off. Um, you don't feel the same. You do not feel the same. You're not feeling like right. You feel different somehow, and you miss your grieving who you used to be, the feeling that you used to carry. Um, I'm going to get more clarifiers out here. You do have a justice card coming in here, which is Libra. Um, I feel like there could have been an ending or you could have went through something over a period of time that was a transition of some, some kind. And during this time of this transition, you've been the strong one. You've been handling absolutely everything all the time. And I feel almost like because you've been kind of like handling absolutely everything, something could have changed already or you could have already had an ending or a change in your life or it could be happening. 
and it's over or it's like it's coming to completion but you're not yourself and you're like oh, am i ever going to be okay i feel like at this moment in time it's a little bit of a um especially if something is over already and you're like wondering why am i not okay um you you recovering from something here you're recharging your energy because you've been carrying a lot um you also might be completely changing into somebody else. And that's why you don't feel like yourself. Okay. Uh, when something happens that's very heavy and very hard to go through, certain aspects of yourself can fall away and can um, uh, it's almost like die. That's why you feel like you're grieving. It almost feels like an aspect of yourself has died. And you're grieving this um you're going through a change i believe um and you're going to become somebody else you're grieving a person that was that is no more and you're now having to remake yourself rebirth yourself all over again and i feel like it's so interesting you need to go back and check the the previous collective reading that i did which was a rebirthing I feel like you, you, if you're here, you need to go back and watch that one. Okay, I think that's going to really help you. I, I feel like it sucks. This is the first, if you've watched that one, I feel like this is tied to maybe something that happened to you before. Okay. So we've got Temperance here. Wow. Okay. We've got a Six of Swords. And we've got a Queen of Swords here. So a very open energy coming in with the Queen of Swords. I feel... Temperance with Sagittarius coming in here. So if you're Sagittarius, um, I feel like the Temperance energy is talking about why you're feeling the way you're feeling. Um, it's an out of balance energy. It's an energy of extremes in either which way. So it can be either like the strength card. You extremely became strong. You be, you pushed yourself to, I feel like, to burn out being so strong. And it's caused an unbalance now in your energy okay and you're not feeling like this is not really how i use you how i feel maybe i don't want to go out maybe i i i just i don't feel like cleaning up in the house or maybe i feel very tired i just want to sleep all the time or maybe i just feel zoned out i don't feel connected and it's almost like detachment energy that i'm picking up on here i do feel like you are healing i feel like you're healing from having to have been strong all the time i feel like you um you've been dealing with something yeah and it's caused an unbalance in your energy which in itself is not wrong because i think it's normal to, if, to, it's like you carried it for so long you're putting it down and now you're just like oh you know what i mean it's like oh you've gone to jelly it's like when you hold something for a very long time and you let go and all of a sudden you're shaking it's like that kind of thing you know what i mean you are moving away from what this is you are definitely being moved away from it. The Six of Swords Spirit Guide is moving you away from a very chaotic time in your life here. You are going to smoother water, okay? Um, Queen of Swords comes in here. You know, I'm, I'm hearing Spirit Guide say authority. Authority with the Queen of Swords energy. And it's interesting because the Justice card has a sword as well. And there's a Queen of Swords. I feel like this is you having earned your stripes, first of all, for having been so strong. Um, to having gone through something, you've, you've become the queen in your own life, male or female energy. Um, I feel like you've also had to go a bit cold um, and cut out a lot of emotion so that you can deal with what was going on around you. And at this moment in time, you could be feeling very emotionless. It's so interesting that she's actually sitting there um, and the waves are coming towards her. And it's interesting to see a queen of swords surrounded by water. But I feel like she's commanding the waves away from her. She's almost saying, emotions do not come here. Go away. It's because you had to get yourself into a place of being practical and overriding anything that you have been feeling for a very long time so that you could get yourself into a place where action gets taken and things get handled but now that things are sort of like settling down it almost feels like you are now the emotions are now coming coming to you and you still want to kind of keep the emotions away from you so you could be dealing with unresolved trauma unresolved emotions that are kind of welling up in you now this is a transformation that you are going through 
without a doubt is a transformation so let's get another card out here for you so we can see what's going on spirit guide show me what i need to see okay that was pretty quick all right be flexible that fell out just there be flexible be flexible i also feel like the belief be flexible energy is tied to um be open to anything uh, the happening at this very moment. Don't be too close to how you're feeling. Um, also be ready to kind of like change um, who you are. Have a new kind of like identity come in here. Um, when, when something changes in our life, it's because we change. And if something changes in our life because it's forced upon us or because we're going through something traumatic or something difficult, um, it, you will change. You're not going to be the same anymore. You're going to become somebody else. I'm actually noticing the egg there. And there's a face in the egg there. You are being rebirthed. You are definitely being rebirthed. It's so tied to this energy. I've got a three of swords that stayed on the table. So I'm going to go with it. The three of swords is something very painful that you've been going through. I feel like emotionally, there's a lot of emotion <laughs> that you don't want to come to. you, That you're trying to keep away from you. Um, as a witch, we are not afraid of that emotion, okay? Um, when we feel pain about something, we're not going to deny that it does not exist. If we feel angry, we are going to go into nature and we're going to get a big stick, you know, and we're going to bang that stick around on the, around everywhere and be like, I am angry right now. Oh my God. You know what I mean? <laughs> if we are sad, we are going to go and sit under a waterfall and let the water just hit our head or sit under the shower. If you can't go there, you know, punch your pillow, uh, whatever. If you can't go to nature, sit under a shower and, and cry your eyes out with that water pouring all over you and just be like, I am so sad. And cry and let it be. Let it happen. Embrace that emotion. Do not push it away from you. Because the more you try to push the emotion away, the longer it's going to take you to step into another life. To feel excited again. To feel alive again. Okay? The hermit coming in here. Wow. The ace of wands. You have a new beginning coming in. <sighs> Do not be afraid to go within now. Got Virgo in your reading. To look at the pain. Take a weekend. You know what I mean? And go back in the photo album of life. And look at all that has happened to you. Something has happened here. I can see it. You cannot just not deny that that's, that's the happening. You've been strong for so long but you're also a soft soul you're also a baby okay and it's okay for you now to acknowledge and say it's been a lot it's been a lot i've carried a lot my heart is broken i feel tired when i have this i will write it down when I feel like I'm just like, uh, and it's normal because life, you want me emotionally, you really, it's normal because life will, will do things. You will live with people here, you know, and things are going to happen. And when I feel so like, I take pen to paper and I write down everything that I'm feeling. I write it down. Even if I, even if my brain's going, oh, whoa, no, don't say that. Yeah, but I feel this in this moment. I'm feeling it. It's here. I can't, you know, deny that it's not happening. This is my body. This is what I feel. And I write down, I feel sad. I feel overwhelmed. I feel alone. I feel like I'm failing. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm a loser. I feel like I don't know what's wrong with me. Say it. Say, I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know why I feel like this. I'm not okay, guys. I'm not okay. You know what I mean? Write it down. And close the book and put it down and cry about it and feel that energy in that moment. It's a process that you go through. That's the hermit. And then the other day, I was cleaning up on my books. I've got a lot of notebooks and things that I keep for spiritual work and for my work here. And also for like, you know, grateful, I've got a great uh, gratitude journals, those kind of things. And I found one of those. 
I think I literally wrote it in the back of one of my notebooks. It must have been about a couple of months ago where I was just having a bad week and I was just like feeling so tired and so overwhelmed. And I wrote down all of those things that I was explaining to you. And I read it now and I read it and I was like, whoa, I felt like that. I was feeling so bad, but I'm okay now. It passed and it shifted. And I realized when I was reading that, that writing it down like that was actually part of the process of going within, acknowledging it, acknowledging you and what you've been through. And then it, in, it enabled me to actually move past it. And that, that was amazing. It was an aha moment because I see you moving past it. I see you moving past it. Do not deny it. Acknowledge it. Do not fight it. Embrace it. And love it and give it kindness. If you had your child come to you, if you have a child or you had a child, and they say those things to you, what would you do? Would you be like, don't feel like that, man. Don't Deny your emotions. Don't feel like that. Toughen up and be strong. Come on, man. You are, if you were born as, to a boomer like I was, oh, we were raised like that. If you, are, you are, If you have boomer parents, you know. You fall and hit your face in the ground and, they, and you're like, oh. And they're like, and you like, just be quiet and you sit through the pain and you look, <laughs> you know what I mean? Just don't say anything. Don't acknowledge your pain. We need to unlearn that. We need to be raw. We need to be real. We need to be able to cry when we need to cry. It's your emotion. There is nothing wrong with it. We need to be able to be angry when we need to be angry. When we feel lonely and sad, we need to be able to feel like, I feel lost, guys. I feel lost spirit. <laughs> I always I always speak to them whenever I write in my journal, I'm writing, I'm communicating with my with my spirit guides, and they listen to all of that and they understand and they'll come and be around you. You know, it's good to acknowledge because it's the only way to move on and away from what that is. You gotta go inside to look at the pain to be able to fix it. Okay. Otherwise. That's what causes trauma. Excuse me. That's what causes trauma. That's why trauma gets held inside of you, in your muscles and your bones and your flesh in your body. It's what's causing disease. It's what's causing depression and anxiety because you're holding it inside of you. you got to go in and look at it and say, now I'm going to take it out. Now I'm going to look at it. I'm going to embrace it as my experience and I'm going to feel sorry for myself. Sorry, that's my phone. And I'm going to feel this way. And that is when you are going to change it. Sorry, I'm just going to turn the volume down. Okay. So let's get in here and have a look and see. King of Swords, the Three of Cups. Oh, my. And the Shadow Side. Oh, my God. The Shadow Side in this deck is actually the Devil card. So this is the Witch's Tarot. So the Shadow Side, we, we don't actually believe in the Devil. I'm just saying. So we kind of like, um, we call it the Shadow Side. I don't know why people always associate it witches with the devil because we don't believe in the existence of the devil. Anyway, um, okay, so with the, with the King of Swords, look, we've got a King of Swords and we've got a Queen of Swords. Very unemotional energies. Very unemotional energies tied to the Three of Swords. So do you see how you've been pushing away a lot of pain and not thinking about that pain? Just being, I must be the person I need to be. But now something is wrong. Something is off here. And that is when now you are going to be supported here. Your spirit guide. When I saw this, I was like, this is spirit. This is spirit. Your spirit guides are literally with you in this hermit energy. When you go within and you look at it and you take it a moment, you know, you're like this weekend or next weekend or, you know, Monday, Tuesday, I'm going to go down. And I'm going to look at the dark stuff. I'm going to go into the shadow side of things. And I'm going to look at it. And I'm going to find out. I'm going to acknowledge my hurt. And I'm going to acknowledge my pain. And I'm going to acknowledge what I've been through. And feel feel like it was so hard. And feel like, wow, I've been, I had a moment. You know, I've been through a lot here. Let me not deny it. You know, for some of you guys, you are dealing with... Um, uh, high functioning depression. I, I got that vibe immediately. Like you're the king of swords and you're the queen of swords, but inside you're not okay. You just show the world that you're okay. You can get out of it. You can come out of it. 
Don't deny the emotion. And that's how you go through it. Let your spirit guides help you here. Because you go into the shadow side of things here. And it's how it's going to get you to have a new start. How it's going to change your energy. Wow, this reading is unbelievable. Let's go in here and see. Okay, wait, I saw the card. It just flipped. Guys, you got spring equinox rebirth. Like, I don't even know what to say. Grieving the loss of who you were. Grieving the loss of an old you. Why don't I feel the same? Why am I not feeling, why am I not right? Why, why, what is going on with me? Where am I? No, you are being rebirthed into somebody else. Oh, my heart and soul, guys. So now let's have a look and see what tarot cards come out here. Your reading has got me a little bit emotional. I don't know. It's a lot. It's heavy energy. And I'm feeling so, um, oh, like I want to just look after you kind of energy. That's how I feel. I feel like I want to baby you or mother you, just hold you, you know, and be like, it's going to be okay. I promise you it's going to be okay. You know, because I know it's going to be okay. The cards cannot come out the way that they've come out like this. It's impossible. You are going to be okay. This feeling that you are feeling, it's part of this process of healing, detaching, um, not feeling like yourself because you are not yourself anymore. You have to go back and watch the previous reading. If you haven't seen the previous collective reading I did, it'll look exactly like the one that I've got here. It's about rebirth. I literally think I had this card. Then you will understand. You will understand. So let's have a look and see what you are rebirthing into. That card moved. That car, that card moved. <gasps> Your okay, all right. You got the king of pentacles in your rebirth. Um, stable in life, very strong, emotionally strong as well, very grounded. Um, long term strength coming in here for you, long term financial stability, life stability. You're just living in this moment, and you are going to start to now. Create some new things here with the Magician card. It couldn't get better. You're going to start to create maybe even a new you, a new person, you know. I remember the previous reading I did was called You Are Going Through a Rebirth and You're Never Going to Be the Same Again. This is it. This part of that reading, you know, you either um, before the reading or you're watching it after. I don't know, but just it's tied there. I will link the reading over here or yeah, somewhere. Okay. Um, this is you with the Magician. Now you are focusing on becoming somebody else you are focusing on a new life and a new you and i love what comes up here because look what comes up the empress this is where your focus will be you will be focusing on creating a reality where first of all king king of pentacles you are stable but you're in a world where your happiness comes first when you wake up in the morning, you are going to be looking at, with that magician card, how do you feel in the environment that you're waking up in? Are you okay? Do you like what you see around you? Are you surrounded by the right people? And then you're going to be going to work or, or doing what you do for a living in the day, or whatever it is you're doing. And you're going to be looking at every aspect of that and going, do I like this? You know what I mean? Do I enjoy doing the dishes, you know, no, um, you know, and then you're going to go and buy a dishwasher, you know what I mean, I don't know, whatever, you know, that's the kind of the thing that you're really going to be looking at, are you happy when you wake up in the morning, and when you go to bed at night, how do you feel, when you're sitting in your bedroom on your bed, and you look around your room, you look at the environment around you, are you good, that's what you're going to be creating, your life is completely changing, Man, you, your own life has completely changed. I do believe there has been an ending. It finally happens. Um, I feel like an ending is either happening or has happened, but it's almost like an aspect of your energy hasn't moved from it. You're still in that ending moment, even though you six months ago the ending happened, but it's almost like you're still living in the ending. You know, the tower card coming here, your whole life's going to change. It hasn't been easy. And whatever has happened here seems to have happened very, very quickly, unexpectedly. Things were happening very unexpectedly to you. Um, I feel like this is you 
I have to say what I'm hearing Spirit God say. As I'm trying to talk, I hear them going in my, in my ears. And they said like the, the collapsing down and the breaking down of your reality and your life. Please excuse my fingers, by the way. Okay, I was busy with something. So the collapsing and the breaking down of your life, okay, um, wasn't an easy experience. But it is what brought you down to that rock down to earth to see the reality of everything and it is also the experience that you've been through what has turned you into a very strong person the king of pentacles the king of pentacles is earth energy and there's the earth it's like a tower that was built of your reality and who you thought you were um came falling down to bring you down to the reality that you can go through all of this and you've been going through it with a strength card. And you can still survive it. And you will come out altered and somebody else. This is, I'm hearing Spirit Guide again say, this is somebody who will not be messed with. <laughs> okay. Which I love as well. If this was like a relationship, you should go back and watch the reading that I did about the narcissist, narcissist worst nightmare. Because I think you'll be coming that. Okay. Um, then we've got a two of wands coming in here. With your magician, I definitely do think there's a change in path for you, a change in direction for you. I think you're moving into a new direction in your life here with the two of wands. That's why you have the magician. The road that you are on, it's not your road anymore. You're moving into a new a new highway. Okay, it's not even a side road unless you want it to be. It can be anything you want it to be. It can be a path, it can be a side road, it can be a highway, five lane highway, whatever you want. A nice, calm, scenic route to drive, whatever. It's all up to you. But I feel like you're changing direction. Your reading is absolutely beautiful. So beautiful. With the Empress, what did I tell you? I told you you're going to be looking at your your happiness and how you feel and you just get the sun card here and it's so interesting because on the sun card there's a little boy you know riding the horse here a child and that is totally coming back to this like rebirth energy you're born again basically as somebody else truly focusing on a lot of positivity in your life focusing on the things that make you happy Focusing on how you can improve yourself, how you can grow, how you can be a better person, how you can feel like you're living a fulfilled life here. And that's where you are going. If you are at the end of this reading, then this is truly your energy. This is truly yours. You cannot come to the end of the reading and it's not in alignment with your soul. So comment below. I got to the end of the reading. This is in alignment with my soul. Thank you. Mm, spirit, I feel tears. I'm sorry. I don't know if I'm somebody's emotional out there, but I keep on picking up on somebody's tears, like emotions. Don't do that to me. Okay, I'm just saying. I'm that person on TikTok who's crying every day. If I go like onto even YouTube shorts or whatever, and I happen to scroll there a little bit, there, there's always some kind of cat video or like, doggy video or like raccoon video the algorithm knows me well where people are rescuing this little animal and i'm just sitting there bawling my eyes out that's what you're doing to me right now i'm picking up on that emotion from you but i'm grateful um that i feel you so strongly because when i feel you this strongly and i you're you're somewhere else in the world i am on the bottom of africa on the point of Africa, okay, I'm in South Africa, right on the point of Africa, wherever you are in the world, I'm feeling you, I feel you, my spirit guides and your spirit guides, they connected each other, to each other, they had a moment, you know, and the door opened, if I feel you like this, then this is your energy, this is what I'm reading here, is your story, and this is where you are going. I'm sending my love to you as I always do. <laughs> I will see you guys next time. Bye.